Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos, this is going to be your love reading. Let me see here. For Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this channel is strictly for Virgos. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the love messages for you, Virgo. I hope you are all doing well. Let's see what the love messages are for you, your past, present, and future with somebody that you may be thinking about at this time. Okay, in the past, Five of Pentacles. The lovers, oh, and the two of cups, oh goodness. The present energy, you have the king of cups, seven of wands, and the ten of cups. And in the future, the five of cups, the seven of pentacles, and page of cups. Okay, wow, a lot of cup energy here. All right, let's take a look here and see what your love message is from the Romance Angels. The deck, deck I am using is called the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I just got this deck, so um, you can look it up on, I think Amazon is where they have it. Let's take a look here. What are the love messages here for Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Overall love messages. Okay. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Virgo. Okay, there might be somebody new here coming in for you. Someone, nothing serious, but just, you know, giving you some good, good vibes, butterfly in the stomach kind of thing, butterflies in the belly. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay. For some of you, this could be someone you're currently currently dealing with where there's like a new a redevelopment of a new love between you and for others, there is just a message that there could be somebody else new coming in for you that maybe you have already met this person. <clears throat> Passion, allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy. Wow. <laughs> this person could be a singer or you are. Okay, and codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Some of you um, might be leaving one relationship and going into another. Um, be careful of that energy. That could be a rebound thing coming in. So just be wary. Yeah, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this could be a sense of like feeling like you're on a honeymoon. Just be, I just feel the need to, to say, be discerning with whomever you may be connecting with, whether it's the past or somebody new coming in. All right, let's take a look at the past, past relationship, a past thing. So the lovers and the two of cups, love, love, love. But with the five of pentacles, it feels like there was a struggle, a really difficult struggle, abandonment, feelings, in this relationship it feels like you guys were a twin flame or felt like a soulmate kind of thing a, a good bonding friendship very healing um and i feel like in the past it's like it you guys were meant to come together okay but there's just something here that maybe there was togetherness but that five of pentacles it feels like there was a, a struggle in this relationship. Like you were, it was almost like two broken people who came together and found love. Okay. But it was a, it, a lot of a struggle between the two of you. Okay. The five of pentacles can represent ill health, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical. Okay. It could be physical, mostly a poverty mindset, a lot of worry, anxiety, feeling isolated, um, from each other at times there could have been financial loss as well but i'm going to pull some clarifying cards i'm going to look at the lovers here so we do have gemini cancer scorpio pisces um let's take a look at the lovers 
<clears throat> okay, the shadow side. It's a devil energy. Wow. Dark darkness in this connection. Maybe there were some addictions. There's greed, envy, obsession, or sexual lust, okay, was playing a role in this connection in the past. Let's see, love, two of cups here, two of pentacles. So there's this, there was this thing where there could have been like an obsessiveness with each other or an addiction to each other in a lot of ways. But yeah, Ten of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. If something ended, it, it kind of feels sad, Virgo, because it feels like you guys came together and you knew somewhere along the line that this was like your person. You felt it. Your person felt it. But there was a lot of darkness underneath that for some reason made the relationship or the marriage or whatever it was very difficult. And I feel like one person abandoned the connection and then in turn the other person abandoned the connection. There might have been betrayal that could have happened that caused the struggle for some of you. just feels like it, like hitting rock bottom like it came to a complete full stop yeah the eight of cups here somebody left it could have been you could have been this person somebody did somebody did it first i i don't really feel like it was a mutual separation where it was like okay we're good um, or we'll just be friends and let's just, you know, move on. For some of you that might have happened, but it feels mostly like um, somebody just kind of like withdrew um, and moved on. There was abandonment, uh, abandonment issue, or maybe somebody has abandonment anxiety and just never was able to fully consummate the relationship. Gosh, even the four of wands here, I feel like it was like, oh, right on the edge of becoming something beautiful. And it, it just ended, okay? Just ended. Now the present energy, it's a king of cups, the seven of wands, and the ten of cups here. So tell me about this king of cups, okay? Because this king of cups showing up presently, this person is very supportive and empathetic and nurturing very healing type of an energy with the King of Cups. And a bit passive, kind of quiet presently. This person's like, I feel like whoever it is, it doesn't have to be water, but whoever your person is, has been kind of in like, is in solitude or is in like retreat mode and being defensive about this relationship is pushing back any type of communication is not trying to communicate is just very defensive and withdrawn currently this person let's see why is this person withdrawn okay knight of swords because they don't want to take action okay that Knight of Swords energy is kind of like someone who's trying to, you know, makes this is like lifestyle change, is withdrawing from having movement forward. Might just be trying to rest and renew their mind. Trying to get some peace, is not dealing with any kind of confrontation. Withdraws from any kind of confrontation or assertiveness. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Oh, the King of Wands, okay. This person is trying to maintain a sense of power currently. Hmm, definitely trying to maintain a sense of power. It's control. Let's see this Ten of Cups. Oh, hey, you guys, there's the Emperor again.
Let me see here. It's so strange because I feel like um, I feel like your person is I feel like they're seeking a new opportunity, new opportunities in 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 love right now. Yeah, the page of cups, but also it feels like they want a new opportunity. I feel like you're going to get a, me a communication message from this person. Light and simple, nothing serious here. May even be like an I miss you or how are you? They're trying to uh, save face. That's what I feel like. To control uh, this relationship in some way. Because that's what the emperor, the emperor is like, you know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this, this person is trying to not be in a defeatist position. And I feel like they want to come forward with that emperor energy and the 10 of cups for you and be like your everything. They don't want to show their weaknesses. Right now they're withdrawing as, as a form of self-protection. But I feel like there's going to be some type of communication about some opportunity or something that comes in. They see they see an opportunity with you and they want to come in with this power, this power. They're in. Re so to start, I feel like they're in this recuperation mode. They're not trying to talk, communicate or do anything in order to regain their sense of power and control about themselves. And I don't really, maybe if you ended something with this person in the past or you walked away, I feel like you both wanted to be together, but there was this devil energy, this toxic stuff. This person may, it feels like there might've been some toxic stuff at home or some issues at home. Okay, or their like family of origin kind of thing. The Empress here. Yeah, this person, they saw you as their plus one for sure. But I also feel like this person felt like you were too good for them. And that's why they're trying to kind of like level themselves up here gain their you know their their control back that take on that masculine energy and i do there is a sense of they are thinking about making some kind of change with you lifestyle change they are thinking about movement and travel but this is only like in their thoughts there it's kind of like they're sleeping on it right now which is why you may not be hearing from them right now, but their intention, as soon as the opportunity, they're waiting for the right time. As soon as the opportunity arises, I feel like this person is going to show up with that emperor energy. Now that's Aries. We have Leo and Sagittarius as well. And there will be a message. It could even be an apology with the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, they're volunteering you know, their heart. This is new love. The page of cups is new love. So for some of you, either they've got a new love in their life or they're seeking that or this, you could be meeting somebody while this person is trying to sort themselves out. Okay. And for others, this person is breathing in new love into your relationship. Okay, so it really just depends. You'll know if you get some kind of like communication from this person. It's loving communication though. So in the future here, the five of cups is here. You may not respond to this person. Um, if this is your past person, you may not respond because they come in with like, it's a very light, shallowy kind of energy, you know. This, this is like sweet nothings. They come in with this. And you may not um, respond to this. 
you know, even if it's like an apology of some sort um, for maybe they've been missing in action or something, um, you may not respond to it. I'm not really sure why, because some of you may not wanting be wanting to go back to the past. You may be seeking a new love, finding your your a new person for you. There might have been a lot of codependency. That's probably what these addictions were. Like you guys were addicted to each other. Maybe like you didn't even realize. Maybe subconsciously there was like this hold that you both had on each other, wanted to be with each other, but it didn't last. It fell apart because there's a lot of like fear or anxiety or um, abandonment issues. It, like the foundation was not very strong. We're trying to make it strong. Let's see why. So going forward, there's an element here, your person sitting in a sense of remorse and regret. Why? Okay, yeah, because of you, Queen of Pentacles. Because I don't feel like you want to respond to this person or, or have a communication with them. Are you done, Virgo? Are you ready for new love? Is that what you're trying to like get on your 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 honeymoon? You're trying to like have something new. You're trying to get the passion back in your life. You might know somebody right now where the, this a new lover comes in and stirs up your romantic feelings. Very well could be. You might be, some of you might just be completely like you're done with the past, which, you know, maybe bec not because you don't love the person anymore, but maybe because you just don't know how it's going to work. And they're them kind of coming in with this very light, like, you know, sweet nothings doesn't feel like something, it, it doesn't, it how can I say this? Like it just, it's not lasting. It doesn't feel lasting. And I do feel like somebody here, new or old, wants a new opportunity with you to try to get into some kind of committed relationship or just to get that love and support that you give, you know, um, and give that in return. But I don't know, Virgo, you're kind of sitting here like this Queen of Pentacles. Like if you're not handing me a pentacle, I don't want the love. I want the things that are tangible to make this relationship work. Yep, four of cups. And they just, that's why, I, that's what I feel like you're going to just be like, you don't know, you're not sure. You're just not sure, Virgo, about the past. And this person's going to feel a sense of like remorse or grief. You know, I don't feel like you're intentionally trying to hurt them or anything. I just feel like that's their energy. Um, because you're, you know, just feeling indifferent or apathetic. You know, you it, it feels unfulfilling. Just this page of cups is not enough for you. Or like a text message or just like something sweet, like I miss you. And I just kind of feel like you're like, okay, but, you know, Maybe they say that to you a lot when you guys have a breakup and you get back together. You know, you, it goes back to the way it was and it's unfulfilling for you. So here's this person. <laughs> They're going to keep trying. They're going to think of maybe different things to say, but the Page of Cups is here again going forward. This person's going to keep trying to... Um, deliver the messages they're gonna with that seven of uh, pentacles they want to keep planting these seeds and they'll keep waiting for any kind of response or something from you i feel like they don't want to give up yep look at this the hangman piscean energy this is like you know, and also Virgo Taurus Capricorn you could be dealing with. But this Piscean energy, like g gaining a new perspective. But it just feels like, I don't know, for some of you, it could just be a way to stay attached them, a way to not lose you fully, to just keep communicating loving messages to you. Yep. 
try to be more positive, bring things out in the open, contemplating ways to just keep, even though they, even though you may decide that you just don't want to go down that path anymore with this person because it was such a struggle, maybe you've grown or you've healed, um, and maybe you will respond, but you're not really investing, and they're going to keep trying. Let's see this page of cups again here. The lovers. This person loves you like none other. They don't want to give up on you. They don't want to give up on you. So you may have someone from your past who doesn't want to give up on you. And you have and doesn't want you to go and wants to keep staying. You know, this lovers, they this person. You've got two people here, Virgo, who want a chance with you. And they've both decided. Could be a water sign, it could be a fire sign, could be an earth sign. We have Libra here. I mean, like, it doesn't matter. You're, you know, for some of you, it's a Gemini. It's a double Gemini, okay? Um, Oh, but this person is like in this position, the more that you pull away and the more that you just back off and just stay kind of out of the loop and not invest, the more then they come, they want to try that. They want to try again. And you also have somebody else coming in here. You, there could be new love that you want, but you may not be ready and you may be denying both because you're not sure. And now you've got like more options and, and you may not be sure. If you want to go back to the past or if you want to move on to somebody new, it's like you just want to, you just want that passion to feel that passion again and, and feel like you're on your honeymoon. You want the romance. That's what you're seeking. That's what you want, right? You may not be seeking, but you may be trying to attract that and you are attracting it, but now you've got choices here that you have to make a decision. And you're going to be presented with a decision. Yep, there's a Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming in to propose. Could be somebody new. Could be somebody old. Could be both of them. They want to get married. They want to. They want to offer the love. You know. Leo energy here. We have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Again, this whoever this person is, like <laughs> you know, you match well, Virgo, with every sign. You have to know that you do. You can get along with water, earth, and air. You really can, because Virgo, you are very patient. You know, and you're truthful and honest with yourself. You're you're a solid person, and you're you can be very easygoing with others because you just have this deep understanding and you trust your intuition. Okay, yeah, there's a reunion. <laughs> this person wants to reconcile. They want to see you. You know, they they want to like. This person is celebrating your love going forward. Is it, they really, they, truly, it, the new, it's not the new person who's in love with you. It's the past person who is in love with you, okay? But they both want to come in to union with you, with the lovers, okay? All right, let's get some, I know, I hope, like, I, I hope that this um, isn't too confusing for you, Virgo. Let's take a look here. What are the love messages here for you? We're going to take a look at this past person because a new love, I'm actually, you know what, before I do, let me pull a card on the new love right there because I want to see if they can tell me anything more about this new, about a new person coming in. What does Virgo need to know about this new love, this new 
opportunity. Oh gosh, the Ace of Cups. Oh, they're just, they just keep confirming new love, new love, new love. Mm, Leo, okay, the sun. For some of you, this, your new love is a Leo, okay? Now, if you're already, you know, your person from the past is a Leo, then it's another Leo coming in. You just need to know that. Okay. For others, it's a Pisces. <laughs> and for others, it's a Cancer. All these major arcana. And for others, it's a Gemini. You know what? All these major arcana. They're not like, seriously, is this a joke? <laughs> it's basically like the message, all these major arcana. Now we have Aquarius. For all of you, I think the message is from spirit that they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you. It's like a little trick. They're playing a little trick here. Oh, well, maybe it's this person. Maybe it's that. We're not telling Virgo who the new person is. You're just going to have to experience it. Unless that resonates for you. Okay. Let's get a couple of love messages from the person from your past. Okay. I know that I crossed the line with you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Wow, Virgo, you're really like putting it on them. Take time to get to know each other, okay? Now, if you're going to reconcile or have a reunion with this past person, if you decide at some point going forward that's what you want to do, or somebody new, it seems like you got to go slow. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally, Virgo. You speak to me through music. Okay, there might be a connection to music. I replay our conversations over and over. Wow. I left you before you could leave me. Okay, for some of you, this person left you. They abandoned you. Abandonment anxiety, avoidant type of behavior will have someone leave first. I will wait for a sign from you. Okay, this person is definitely, I don't know who, you know, it's your past person is like either still in love with you, crazy in love with you, and just is not going to quit. They're going to keep staying, trying to talk to you, you know, from the time you're listening to this video and going forward. The attraction you feel is mutual. There is very strong chemistry between you and this person, but there's some issues. I am becoming a better person, Virgo. Your person, like I was saying earlier, is trying to ascend based on some opportunity that they receive in their life or something that happens. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, this person didn't want to let you go, but they did not know how to be in this relationship. There might have been a lack of safety or security. Yeah, I, but this person, I feel like they brought some stuff, some broken bones into this relationship, okay? I know I messed up everything. That's the grief. Virgo, I don't feel like you're punishing because you're not a punishing type. So many things remind me of you. I just feel like your your heart is broken, their heart is broken, there's a desire here to come back together, but you're very guarded. Virgo, your heart is so guarded. This person, if they haven't been communicating, they've been burying themselves in work to try to forget. Not so much you, but the pain. But it doesn't really leave them. It was my fault, but I blamed you. This person is so attracted to you still. I don't feel like that's ever gone away with your past person. But, you know, like I said, you've got this new person that you know you may have already been talking to or you feel this one could be the one for you in terms of like there's 
no trust issues or damage. It's much harder to repair a broken relationship than it is to start over. Um, and it's much harder to repair ourselves. Sometimes that desire for that fresh new beginning, but that's why I was saying be careful about rebound and be careful that you're not in a codependent position where you meet somebody new, but you're trying to fill a void because of the loss. I feel like your, your advice here is to just stay still. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. That's the full energy. Okay, new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. I feel like that both of those things are happening here for you, Virgo. And I feel, thank God, it's only like 24 hours. But going forward, I feel like once this person starts reaching out again, um, there's going to be, um, like, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep trying. And maybe that's what you wanted, or maybe that's what you need before you can decide to what you're going to go with somebody new or give them another chance. Completely up to you. You do whatever you need to do. But Virgo, I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope it gives you guidance. And um, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Try to build my channel up here. So I wish you all the best. I'll see you guys later. Bye.